Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be creating this uh, uh, effect of uh, counting number of characters that user has user has typed into a text field. So uh, let me show you the demo. So let's say we have this uh, username text field, and uh, we, as we start typing, uh, you can see the counter basically is uh, uh, is increasing. Uh, and uh, uh, this is basically what we're gonna uh, create as an effect and uh, we're gonna see how you can actually apply um, initial values to your binding parameters okay so let's go ahead and, and get started so first thing first we're gonna create our main counter view where we're gonna see how to apply binding and its related properties so uh, struct and we're gonna name this one counter view Okay, and uh, you're gonna, this counter view is going to take a binding for text. And this is going to be the text that we are going to be counting. And then we're going to have a counter. Now we, we will create, create our own initializer. And this initializer is again going to take that binding text. So we're going to say binding of type string. Okay, now when we have this binding text, um, there are two extra variables that are created. There is dollar sign that actually creates the binding, um, binding parameter uh, or binding constant, and there is a wrapped value and with underscore. So we're gonna get access to wrapped value, and we're gonna say assign that value to the text value, whatever it is assigned. And for the counter, we're gonna say take the wrapped value, the in internal value of text. Um, take its wrap value and count that okay now this is how you can actually initialize with initial values uh, for your uh, for your binding parameters and now good old body and uh, simply put a text with uh, counter in there and uh, give it a font foreground color and we are done with this view okay so uh now let's go ahead and and use it uh so we're gonna simply create state private or text and uh in the body um we are gonna have a z stack and the z stack is gonna have alignment trailing and first let's put our counter view with text as text binding that we have created this text state variable that we have created let's add some padding to this some frame background and here we can say let's have a rounded rectangle with corner radius to be 10 and let's give this a fill color color dot gray dot opacity 0 0.2 okay now let's have our text field where we're gonna type not the text field style but text field username gonna call the uh, placeholder text username and gonna give text binding with padding for trailing we're gonna say 60 because we need this uh, 60 uh, we need this text to end 60 points before uh, this uh, basically wherever this counter starts because we want we don't want overlapping uh, text on our counter and uh, for that reason we are doing padding 60 because the width of the um, counter is 60 we can even do 70 actually to give it a breathing room and uh, then we're gonna say leaving is gonna be 10 points okay uh, for the background uh, so this background is basically the uh, rounded rectangle the uh, text field effect that we are actually creating uh, we can actually simply create that with a rounded rectangle and corner radius is going to be 10 again to match 
and uh, then you're gonna stroke uh, color dark gray okay and uh, gonna give it padding Con command command a control I to format and let's go ahead and run this so uh, with this so we should have our counter view ready and uh, if you notice now this has a little bit more breathing room when we type our uh, text and it's basically actively counting so uh, the benefit that you get basically is uh, you can apply restrictions on what kind of values you're accepting and stuff like that uh, so uh, knowing how your binding uh, parameters can be changed or assigned is actually very valuable in is really valuable in swift ui so hopefully uh, this will help you in your project all right so this is it for this video hit that subscribe and like button if you like um, and uh, i will see you guys uh, once again in another video thank you